59 Productions has been putting on shows and creating projects all over the world for more than a decade, but this is truly the first time that we've brought together all our different departments and all our different skills to create a unique piece of theatre. Thank you. I'd like to do three, four, two, and go. It is a round number that's started it. Hello. City of Glass is the first theatrical production which we've conceived, produced, directed and commissioned and so it's a very exciting jumping off point for us as kind of creative originators and owners of an entire process. Let's, let's try again, I like the idea of the chair yeah? Yeah, great. The story that Orster tells in his novel is a ostensibly very simple one. It's a man who's lost his family looking for meaning in his life and the question that we pose all the way through is will he find that meaning? Will he find a reason to go on existing? They say he died in midair before he even hit the water. You're lying. In typical Paul Auster fashion, it touches on lots of different genres and lots of different meta-literary ideas. Um, and the way we've conceived the production is that we exist entirely throughout the piece within this one man's head. So we've created a production design and a production concept, which is essentially an extension of that. Good centre stage, a little bit of stage left, please. Today, we're at home in Manchester. Um, and this is the first time that the entire set will come together. The set doesn't change in the kind of classic scene change way, but we just get transformed through projection on the walls and the floor of the apartment. Still in residence. It's Oscar. I don't think we could have come up with a way of staging this that didn't involve video and technology. Projection in this case opens up a huge number of dramatic possibilities. We'll be switching from very different locations, so from some very photorealistic alleyway scene or someone's apartment to a much more abstract, hand-drawn world of nightmarish figures, and then it can snap back immediately into reality. So there's sort of always a sense that there's another world or another layer just underneath what you can see. I'd say theatre is central to the approach of 59 and to the work of 59 and to the history of 59. Um, theatre has been this kind of through line and for us to get a chance to now lead the theatrical process, I'm really excited to see exactly where we go next, bringing together art and technology to make a piece of theatre.